Hey, it's me, Markel's World. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Kayla Braxton, she has announced that she is leaving WWE. This is some shocking news. This is some shocking news. I am happy for her. Nevertheless, she does want to branch off, do something new. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I do know everybody is talking about it on X. A lot of people are surprised. Who knows? She may come back. Never say never. I mean, this is the entertainment business, so a lot of people do come back YouTube. Um, I mean, I like her work. Um, I feel like she will be missed the most when she was on The Bump. I think it's not the name of the show. A lot of the fans liked her on that show and felt like she made her presence known. So I know The Bump fans who watch the show they probably are sad that she's no longer with the company because they liked her, but um, they have so many people that are doing the backstage interview and stuff like that. I feel like, wasn't she on commentary at one point, or was that Renee? I know Renee Young was the first person on commentary, but I feel like um, Kayla Braxton was on commentary one time as well during a Raw with Michael Cole. Maybe I'm misthinking. Um... She's done a lot. She's done a lot. If you look at her Instagram posts and the photos, some things I'm like, oh, yeah, she did do that. Or, oh, yeah, she was part of that. So um, her as a backstage interviewer, ring announcer, I don't know what her job title is because she does so much. Um, journalist. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me just say that. Journalist. Her as a journalist, she did do her job. So um, I don't know if she's going to be like, um, what's her name? Charlie? who end up leaving and still doing journalism just for a different, you know, category, a different entertainment, I guess. She went from wrestling to, I guess, what, baseball and sports? So maybe that's what Kayla would do. She will change the category. Who knows, who knows, who knows? I do feel like um, WWE really did like her. They didn't release her when they had the budget cuts. Um, they still kept her nevertheless, so it does show that they do like her a lot. Um, glad that she's bowing out gracefully. You never know if you need to come back. You never know. You really don't know if you ever need to come back. So good for her bowing out gracefully, praising the company before she leaves. Who knows what's next for her? Wishing her the best, wishing her nothing but the best. Smackdown was good if you guys watch we saw cm punk and drew mcintyre i guess cm punk got knocked the fuck out before we saw him with the garage i guess i don't know what he did on drew mcintyre but he did knock the hell out of cm punk embarrassed him in his hometown so we shall see we shall see what happens next with this feud obviously it's going to be at SummerSlam. Um, it looks like for the women's money in the bank, we're going to have Naomi more than likely winning. I hopefully she wins money in the bank and she has her moment. I do like Naomi. I don't think she's been having a fair comeback run. So I am hoping for a little bit more for her. But um, Naomi may be the next money in the bank winner. So hopefully we see something going on with Tiffany and... Um, Nia Jax, are they going to be a new tag team? Are they going to try to take those titles? It looks like Jade and Bianca. Um, it seems like Bianca's not concerned, but Jade wants the titles back. But Bianca is moving on to Money in the Bank and qualifying. So um, it looks like Nia and Tiffany could be a team and try to take those titles. Um, wrestling was good this week. I do feel like Friday Night Smackdown was the best show this week. AEW and their viewership going down. I am a little sorry for them. Not like a pity, sorry, but I do want any wrestling company to do well, especially one on TV. We should have more than one option, so um, I do want them to succeed. I do record it and usually watch it the next day or two days later or on the weekend, so um, I don't really watch it live at times. But um, I'll glimpse if my favorite's on there, but um, I won't sit and watch a full episode. I haven't done that in a while because I'm doing YouTube, TikTok, job, gym every day, so I don't really have time just to sit. And watch a full episode of AEW on a Wednesday. But nevertheless, wishing them the best. They will bounce back. We have TNA and 
NXT. They're still um, partnering at this point. I do wish that on um, this partnership, and you know, I kind of wish it continues, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too much to the point that both brands are losing their identity to the point I have to watch NXT and TNA to keep up with the storyline since they're always crossing paths. I do feel like TNA is an alternative and TNA fans are hardcore wrestling fans. They love wrestling. I mean, AEW is hardcore wrestling fans, but TNA, they have their own vibe. You know, you had to watch it, the six side of ring. You know, I've been watching since 2008. So, you know, TNA has its own, I don't know how to explain it, just always had its own vibe. It always had their unique characters. Like a Jordan Grace, we don't see somebody like that in WWE. Jordan Grace, we, we have Jade, we have Bianca, but Jordan Grace, just her look is unique, you know. We have the Rascals, the tag teams, you know. We have different characters for different people. I don't think they have that really in WWE. They have characters, but TNA characters are a lot different and stand out more to me. Um, that being said, I don't want to see too much of this NXT and TNA keep doing this. I'm happy for the wrestlers in TNA to get their shine, of course, but it's just like I don't want... NXT or TNA to lose their own identity. If they keep on crossing paths, it's going to just seem like the same shit every week. But, um, good for them. I'm good, happy for Joe Hendrick. Um, who else do I want to talk about? I'm really tired. It's hot. And when it's hot, that's when I don't feel well. It is feels like the Sahara Desert here in Michigan. I think it's 89 right now it's about to be 93 the highest so it's hot and i turn off the ac so i want to be blowing when i'm talking but um i hope everyone is well i hope everyone is well this is mark hill's world all things professional wrestling in my life so to the youtube this is just for you guys youtube but also follow me on tiktok mark hill's world oh i'm also on instagram mark hill's world m-a-r-q-u-e-l-w-o-r-l-d instagram mark hill's world but um Mark Hill's world, Mark Hill's world, follow, follow. I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys are doing well.